voice-activated controls. It has seats that massage you as you drive along. If you bought the equivalent of this car today, it would cost you £161,000. And that makes this the bargain of the century. No, it isn't. Because this is the BMW 850ci. It too has a V12 engine, not the lesser V8 engined 840. But what makes this car better than Jeremy's is pop-up headlamps. Simple as that. How much did you pay for this? 6,700. Yours? 6,995. Less. How old is it? Uh, 94. It's 17 years old. <clears throat> Nine. Really? Nine years old. How yeah. many miles has it done? 127. Uh, 54,000. Rubbish. Why does it have casters from a sofa instead of wheels? OK, it's, it's, it's period. They were that size in those days. What are they? 17? 16? 16? 16 inch. That's 16 what they were. inch wheels. And you know full well that that means fatter tyres and that means a better ride. Fact. It's got Smarties for wheels. And is that ruched leather? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Why do people from Birmingham like a rouge? <laughs> to find out which of us had bought the best car, we decided to conduct a series of tests, starting, not unsurprisingly, with speed. This is a 1.8-mile runway, and all we wanted to know is... who'd get to the far end first? <laughs> Of course, what matters most of all in a race like this is power. And the simple fact is, I have more of it. A lot more, and more torque. Because my car has pop-up headlamps. It is sleeker at the front, more aerodynamic. And in a race like this, aerodynamics matter. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! <laughs> oh! And that is good by Hammond. His car is limited, top speed 155. BMW, not limited, top speed 156. I can still whisper. 130 miles an hour. 140. He's ahead, yes, but soon he will hit the limiter and I will surge past. 155. Miles an hour. But that surging thing didn't happen. Cack. What a machine! We pulled over for a post-race chat. Hello! Hello! Can I just say? Yes? What happened there? Uh, well, obviously the BM lost. My car. The weirdest thing was, as we crossed the finish line at the end, mine changed up. So I think, given a, a longer runway, you know, like... 50 miles longer. Yes, yes, yes. I would have won. Yes. Listen, have you ever run a race while carrying a television? No, and a sideboard. And, and a sideboard. Yeah. I've got a television and a sideboard in here. Can I also say, I want one of these phones on a cord in my car. I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is really... better. To try and understand why Hammond's car was so slow, we put it on a machine that would reveal how many horsepowers had escaped over the years. Well, they tether it. There's no need to tether it. Yeah, you got to shackle this beast down. It took nearly an hour to get down that runway. No, it didn't. Soon the machine gave us an answer. How many was it? 296. 296 yeah. horsepower from your five-litre engine. And in uh, how many years old is it? 17, 17 years, years old. 269 at the flywheel. 27 horses have escaped. Yes. Less than two a year. You could eat that many horses a year. Perhaps you're just a rubbish driver. 